Hello, everybody. It's the coach. This is Madden 20 on EA Sports. On deck, we've got what should be a great matchup between the Kansas City Chiefs and the Cincinnati Bengals. I'll be back with you again with scores around the league at halftime. But kickoff right around the corner. And standing by to call the action, here are Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. Coach, it's the NFL on EA Sports, and there you get a look at Paul Brown Stadium on the banks of the Ohio River in Cincinnati. Nothing like the fanfare of introductions to an NFL game, and that was in evidence a moment ago. Fireworks, pyrotechnics, you name it, this crowd is ready as their guys get set to match up between the Kansas City Chiefs and the Cincinnati Bengals. With my good friend Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and Charles, we have arrived at another new season. Had a little more pep in my step this morning. <laughs> I know you did as well. Here we go. Yeah, when you went out for your five-mile jog, you were flying. <laughs> you did it in record time because you were psyched up about this game. But let's be frank about it. No more radio shows. No more podcasts. No more just predicting what's going to happen. Now we get to see it on the field. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. This will be fielded at the eight. And a good effort on the return there. Gets them across the 30 to the 33-yard line. Here come the Bengals now to take over. They'll be let out by the former Texas Christian University Horn Frog, Andy Dalton. And there's no substitute for experience in this league. And what it usually leads to, a whole lot of confidence. Andy Dalton is sharp with where to go with the football now. I think he sees reads before they actually even happen. He can sense them now. And he is one of the better quarterbacks in the NFL. The former second-round pick, this is Joe Mixon. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. It's a gain of 13, and the Bengals have a first down. And there we see an early burst that makes him one of the leading rushers in the league. Well, I want you to know, I listened to you yesterday when we were watching film. You said write down the word vision for him. It was on display there, wasn't it? It certainly was because he allows the blocks to set up in front of him. And if that continues, it could be a long afternoon for those guys trying to play some defense. Give him a couple on the carry there, second and eight. Here now the offense for the Bengals. And last night we were discussing some of the changes they've made offensively during the offseason, and we know it helps for them to have the first game at home. Hopefully this crowd, which we saw coming in, they've been here for a while, ready to go. You and I should have joined the tailgates, that's for sure. They're going to give them plenty of encouragement. They'll try and ride that wave and get their first victory of the year. And a glance now at the Chiefs' defense. Tyron Matthew has a cornerback's build with safety skills. The Honey Badger knows where the football is. Dalton on the draw to Mixon. And he won't be close to a first down as he runs into a wall right around the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play there, and it'll bring up fourth down. Well, that didn't appear to be a run blitz. He just darted in once he saw the run develop. That appeared to be a case of see ball, get ball. He gets this away. It's a good one, drawing toward the sidelines. And this will be out of bounds at the what here? The 12-yard line. So here are the Chiefs now backed up for their first drive. Leading this unit will be the big arm man out of Texas Tech. Tenth pick in the 2017 draft, Patrick Mahomes. Mahomes will lead the Chiefs up first and 10 at their own 12-yard line. They run the counter. Moss. And he'll be taken down, losing yardage back at the nine-yard line. That's going to wind up a loss of a full three yards on first down. 
A three-yard loss to start the drive. They'll look to make that up and then some on second and 13. Now a handoff here to his running back. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. It'll go as a loss of a yard, and it'll set up third down. So time to start going in the other direction as they come up now third and long. Shotgun snap to Mahomes. And he goes down. It's a sack. They get him back at his own three-yard line. Getting the sack, the big D tackle, Geno Atkins. I think most quarterbacks would love to have the goal line actually extend up into the air and turn into a wall. They can put their back against it and know exactly where they are on the field so they don't end up in the end zone. Didn't do it on that play, but perilously close to the goal line. And he's able to get it out quickly, and this is not a bad kick here. So just a three-yard return following a punt of 45. And the Bengals will take over here first and 10. Cincinnati now ready to take the field. They were forced to punt on their initial drive of the new season. Now they're ready to go as they begin again with a first and 10. Good starting field position for them as they come up first and 10. Just shy of midfield at the 49. Now Joe Mixon takes to midfield, but no further. Just a yard there. From midfield here, Dalton. That's complete to John Ross. The reception good for seven. It's third down. So third and two. This quite possibly four down territory, though, if they're stopped. Out of the gun. It's Dalton. He gets this one to Boyd. Well, this is going to depend on the spot, but it's not a very generous one. He looks to be about a yard or so short. Well, we hear so often how tackling has become almost a lost art in the NFL game. But it's so important to tackle well on these receivers, especially in a play like this one. Third down, they gave him the underneath stuff. You got to go up and make the tackle right away. Well, I was watching him in warm-ups, and he hit a 62-yarder that hit the crossbar and went over this one a little bit inside of that, but not enough leg. And the difference is what? Well, your live conditions, live right? Live conditions, game conditions are a whole lot different than practice, where you just pop it up there, no rush, no pressure. I think maybe that takes a couple yards away from you when you have to do it when it's real. So they'll take the yardage and tack on 15 more for the face mask. Talk about a play that absolutely costs you in the end. Just trying to do your job, right? Trying to get him on the ground. Next thing you know, they'll march off another 15 against your squad. A pretty nice work defensively there on the first down run as they hold him to a gain of a couple. Kyle Van Noy in on the stop. And quickly now, a look at the Kansas City offense. Obviously a tough test for this offense right out of the gate. Road game in game one of the new year. Conventional wisdom says, go slow, take care of the football. I think in this case, attack early and get the home team back on their heels. Now a throw for the All-Pro Kelsey is complete. Stopped at the 24-yard line after a gain of five. That catch good for five. It's third down. And a nickel look here for the Bengals as they try to defend this on third. And to give this time to the tailback. And down inside the 15 he goes. Now it appears we've got a Chief moving pretty gingerly down there. Boy, not what you want to see in quarter one of the new year. We'll be back. Mahomes now on first down. It's Kelsey on the ground. And he's able to work it here to the eight-yard line. A gain of six there on first. Six yards was the pickup on the last completion, so here's second and four. This is Thompson, and he will maneuver his way down to about the seven. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a third and three. Mahomes looks to throw on third down. This will be caught at about the five. And he's able to get this down to the five-yard line before he's out of bounds. They stop him for only three that time, and that'll bring up fourth down. A short game that doesn't get him the first down 
brings up a fourth down situation. Really nice job defensively. They knew where the sticks were. They got the stop before it. A good drive gets them inside the five, but they could not punch it in. And credit the defense, too. Make sure that that happens because that was the old bend but don't break approach. Made sure they contained them when they absolutely had to and forced the field goal attempt that went through. Now the Cincinnati offense ready to see what they can do here. Last time out, they had that long 50-plus yard field goal that they missed. And I'm sure on their sideline, they're thinking to themselves, okay, do we still want to try one if we're in that position again? And I would dare say that the answer would be yes. They're going to have a lot of confidence in their kicker. But just to be on the safe side, I'm sure they told their offensive guys, can we get a little bit closer yeah, get this a little time? Closer. Yeah, well, you know, I'd rather get in the end zone first and foremost. But if all else fails, less of a field goal attempt for him. That backs him up one yard and brings up third down. If you're a selfish player and you're throwing the ball, you're cool with the completion. Maybe not so cool with the yardage loss, though. Huh? Yeah, you went you went backwards on the yardage. Hey, it kind of works like a sack for the defense there. Yeah, it's a really big play for them, right? Able to figure it out, sniff it out, and finish it off. Now a third down throw, but it misses the target incomplete. It certainly looked like maybe his third or his fourth read on his progression. Just trying to find his outlet man that time. Ends up leading him just a bit too much. Let's go, boys. Bring it up. So now here are the Chiefs as their offense makes their way back out onto the field. They've got a 3-0 lead and the football as they start first and 10. Here's Mahomes to throw. And that is incomplete. Took a shot there on first down, but he couldn't reel it in. After the incompletion, here's second and 10 from the 20. Mahomes now to throw. Throw left side, complete to Moss. And he will lose yardage on the play. Back at his own 19-yard line. Well, I know it goes against the instincts of the person catching the ball because all you're ever taught is catch the football, don't drop it. But drop it there. Yeah, in that situation, <laughs> dropping it would have been better. End up losing yardage even though they completed the pass. As good as a sack. Yeah, how about that? Although they won't get the same credit for it, and it won't help them at contract time. One heck of a third down conversion. 33 yards. Now that one hurts defensively. They force them into third and long, had the advantage, yet they give up the big play right there. Yeah, their offense was already warming up on the sideline, ready to come out. So much for that three and out. Our first look at the NFL scoreboard comes from Green Bay, and the 49ers are out to the early lead. Remember to keep an eye on the ticker, of course, at the bottom of your screen for updates on that game and others around the NFL. Maybe he was going to be involved in that play from his tight end spot, and he jumped. Yeah, don't tell me that those guys don't like to block. That's what we say about them nowadays in the NFL. But I think he thought he was one of the key pieces in that play and wanted to get out and execute the assignment very fast. Add the gain here to the previous play, and it's better than 40 yards total. Second and five now. Mahomes. That one caught by Tyreek Hill. That one covers 24 yards. It's a first down. Well, coaches always talk about finding balance on offense. I don't think you can get much more balance than this. Big time run, big time pass. A one-two combination. Look pretty good. How about that? Let's see if they, let's see if they can continue to take that kind of a punch, though. Operating from the red zone now, Mahomes. Complete, the tight end, Kelsey. And they'll work this down to the 15 for a pickup of four. That throw good for four. It's second down. On second down, it's Thompson. And they get to him quickly here as he stopped right around the 13. Here's the seventh play of this drive. This is third and four. Working from the gun, Mahomes. And that is incomplete. These guys had to settle for a field goal their last time moving the ball down the field. They may have to do it again on this drive. That could be frustrating. Yeah, I don't want to be cliche, but at least they were able to get three last time, three here. Not the worst thing in the world. So two first quarter field goal attempts for him, and he's converted on both. I like the positive right there. Two for two, got the points on the board. 
The negative side is they didn't score touchdowns. And of course, going forward in this game, that's going to be the aim. And hopefully, they'll be kicking extra points instead. This is fielded at the chalk of the 10. And a good effort on the return there. Gets him across the 30 to the 33-yard line. The Bengals offense now, they head back onto the field. And still no points on the scoreboard. You're coming off of the three and out. They're just looking for anything to grab onto right now, aren't they? I'm wondering if someone's going to take charge in the huddle. You know, we always look at look to the quarterback, but sometimes it's another player on the team, a star, a veteran, someone with some excitement and energy. It's like, all right, guys, let's shake things up and let's go because they still have an opportunity to make things happen. Shake it off. Nowhere to go that time. He maybe got a yard up to the 40. 6-0 our score after one. Now the Bengals on third down, 0 for 3 to this point. They could use a conversion. This time it's third and three. Dalton now to pass. And he can't quite intercept it. Zone coverage, free safety was there. Couldn't come up with it, and now it's fourth down. Not only was the call spot on, how about the execution of that defense right there? Zone was absolutely locked up tight. He was trying to force it in there on third down. But if there's a time to force it, he felt like he needed to make a play, right? Yeah, exactly right. Third down, you got to try and find something. There's nothing available there for him. Mahomes will lead the Chiefs up first and 10 at the 20. First play of the drive is a run with Thompson. Fights forward for only about a yard up to the 21. Second and nine now from the 21. They run it here with Thompson. And he's up in it after a gain of four up to the 25-yard line. The Chiefs on third down. Two for five to this point. This will be third and five. The tight end, Kelsey, has it over the middle. And he gets it to the 32. Good enough for a first down. Mahomes now hitting on 80% of his passes in the early going. Eight of 10. It's first down. They'll run with Thompson. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. Second and five now. Mahomes, and this is caught by Watkins. And he's got another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Bengals' 43. So they'll come up in Bengals territory now with a first and 10 at the 43. Now Mahomes. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. So second down, still 10 yards to go. Ball on the 43. They'll run it now out of the gun. On any running play that's called, they're always hoping that it's going to break big and go the distance. But when you get a nice game like that, you're able to do so many things anyway. You can come back and run essentially the same play again, continue to move the ball on the ground, or you can decide to throw the ball now because usually you have the defense back on its heels. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Now that was pretty. They executed that curl route versus zone coverage, and that changes things a little bit because against man, it's often a tight curl, a tight, a sharply run route. Against zone, you're just looking for that open spot, that dead area, so you may curl it a little bit wider just to get to that place. And usually a tight window. He fired a bullet in there for the completion. That's complete right around the eight. No gain there on the completion. Second and 10. Well, that was a simple throw and catch, but even with that completion, zero yards gained, so they're behind schedule on down and distance. I think they were hoping to get it to him. He could make a man or two miss, but that window closed quick. And he takes this into the end zone for a Chiefs touchdown. From 10 yards out, and the Chiefs are able to extend their lead. I wonder if he changed anything on his play sheet or they just executed better. Because they had two previous drives that ended in field goals before this one, they finally were able to put into the end zone. Well, whatever he did, speaking of the offensive coordinator, might be using that formula going forward. It worked there. Yeah, it worked very well. He and his field general in pretty good sync right now. They're starting to move the ball well.
Eddie Pinheiro now for the extra point. And he's got it to make it now 13 to nothing. So that one a pretty time-consuming 10-play drive. And it's capped off with a Kansas City touchdown. This is taken about seven yards deep. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. So now the Bengal offensive unit back out onto the field. And last drive, three and out. Still a goose egg on the scoreboard. How do they break that goose egg? They've got to find a way to get the ball in the hands of their playmakers, get them some space, and try and make a first down and get some momentum going. It's been a struggle for them throughout the game, and that three and out on the last possession, that told you just how stalled they are on offense. So who will step up here? We'll see. They'll wind up losing three yards here. And just like that, it's third down. Now the Bengals on third down, not good. 0 for 4 thus far. This is third and nine. So Dalton now. And that is incomplete. Oh, he had a defender right there with him to force that to the ground. And fourth down now coming up. It's always a goal, and it's really nice defensively when you can rally to the football and make sure there's enough contact to force an incompletion. Force an incompletion and force another punt. A beautiful fake. A second quarter score from down in Houston. Well, the Dolphins have jumped out to an early lead in their ball game. And we'll keep you abreast of how that one shakes out. Patrick Mahomes on his way out for their next drive. He's played a pretty clean first half. A touchdown, no interceptions. Frankly, that's what they expect out of him. They want to see the ball thrown and thrown well, and he's able to do that and put it in the end zone. They'd love to see more of that before this game finishes. But right now, he's got his team in a good spot. A good spot. Maybe looking for touchdown pass number two here in the second quarter. We can talk all we want about football being a game of strength and brawn. It's also a game of mismatches, and they're trying to... Pressure, and he's going to be taken down. They sack him back right around the 44. One thing that I liked about this guy during the draft process was his motor. Of course, I loved his skills, but he plays hard on every down. And that motor on full display there as he gets his first NFL sack. Got to imagine the pass rush will be equally intense here on second down following the sack. It's second and 18. And he'll give it here to his running back. And oh, he's going to be brought down by the face mask. Here come the flags. This is going to get him a first down. Defense. So that flag will cost him 15. And it doesn't matter anymore how you get the face mask. Any part of it is going to be 15 yards. And now it's first and 10. A big mistake, especially when you factor in the personal foul yardage. From the gun, it's Mahomes. Looking middle, and it's incomplete. His favorite target, Travis Kelsey, the intended receiver. And that will bring up second down. Second and 10 from the 33-yard line. Now a handoff here to his running back. Now that play is blown up, losing yardage back at the 35. That'll be a loss of a yard, and it leads to a third down. That's a really alert defense there because they saw the heavy look come in from the offense, countered it with extra linebackers who brought a little bit of speed and heft and able to really make a big-time play for their defense. Now throwing on third down there, but he cannot connect. That is the first time that they've targeted him that he has not come down with a catch. He's caught everything that's been thrown his way. A dominant pass. Oh, they get to the football. It's blocked. It's picked up. A the Red Sea parts, and there he goes. 20. And he will score. Touchdown, Cincinnati. In for the score. As they are now on the board here in the first half. We talk about it a lot. One of the dangers of the long field goal, you got to kind of hit it low and drive it. That makes it susceptible to a block here. Not only do they block it, they return it. And how about how well they did on the return where they didn't create a penalty? Oftentimes in that type of a scrambling situation, someone will clip, someone will block below the waist, right? It, you name it. In this case, though, that didn't happen. They formed it up, and he took it all the way back for a touchdown. Extra point by Carlson, up and good. And it's now 13-7. to 
So here comes the kickoff, and what now is just a one-score, six-point game. This one taken just inside the 10. And nice work on the return as they'll start their drive just past the 30-yard line. And now here comes Kansas City. The last time they had a little bit of a special teams breakdown, that field goal was blocked. Yeah, and everything has to be precise in the kicking game. Snap, hold, kick, obviously the blocking to keep people out. So what you really want to do is get in there and get six points and take the pressure off of those guys. Give him 15 yards on that one. Kansas City has a first down. As far as tight ends go, this guy's not a speed burner. He's much more of an inline blocking type of a tight end. But how about this last play? Made a nice catch and picked up a first down. That's what impresses me about him. When he's called upon, usually gets it done. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. That last catch short of the marker by just a yard leaves him with a very manageable second and one. And he'll go down shy of the 40 at the 41. On first down, Mahomes. And his throw is incomplete. Had an open man that time, but ended up putting a little too much heat on it, don't you think, partner? Absolutely, just needed a touch more air under it. Instead, he fired an absolute bullet. And there just continues to be nowhere to run. He's bottled up again at the line of scrimmage. Back-to-back -back stops make it third and ten. To throw, it's Mahomes. Caught, Kelsey, left side. And he'll go down to the ground at the 39, and obviously that's well short of the first. Ouch, you thought you had the defensive stand. Roughing the passer wipes it out. What does every defense talk about? Three and out, right? Thought they were able to get off the field. Not so. They'll get him to the ground at the 20, following a pickup of four. On second down now, it's Thompson. And he'll get it down this time to the 17. The Chiefs on third down, five out of nine thus far. Here it's third and three. Throwing now is Mahomes. He's got it complete to Thompson. And he gets the first down yardage before he's brought down just outside the 10 at the 11. Two minutes remaining in this first half of football. We remind you that coming up in two minutes, we'll again head down to visit with Jonathan Coachman in Orlando back for another year. He'll have scores from around the NFL here on this opening weekend. That one complete to Hill. And now they're inside the 10 as he's brought down at the 9. Give him a couple on the catch. It's second and 8. Throwing again on second down. Mahomes, nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Geno Atkins able to get in there for his second sack of the afternoon. Well, nothing takes a start to have a good drive. Quite like a big loss on a sack, does it? Now, now they're looking at a third and long, and suddenly the momentum shifted to the other side of the football. And old Mo is a very, very fickle man. After the sack, things get a little tougher here. Third and long for Mahomes in the And he's going to go down again. Now the Bengals going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Now for the field goal try, here's Eddie Pinheiro. And remember, he had one blocked earlier. The kick by Pinheiro is good. And now it's a two-score game at 9, 16-7. So this time, the protection holds up for him just fine, and he's able to bang it through. I think their special teams coach got the point across. He gave him a pretty good earful after the block earlier, and this time, there's no penetration, so they're able to pick up three. This is fielded at the goal line. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. The Bengals' drive about to get going. These guys had to punt their last possession, and that's become too familiar of a refrain. Too many of these drives just wound up going nowhere. But you know how in baseball, when the pitcher gets a base hit and he's on base, they bring his jacket out to him to keep him warm? A lot of times, the punter goes to the sideline, puts on sweatpants or a wrap over his leg to keep it warm. He might need a massage from the trainer right now <laughs> from all the work he's getting. A second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. 
Tyler Boyd, the former Pitt Panther, was the target. And it'll bring up third down. Third down, a shot here for Dalton. And the catch good, it's Eifert. And he'll just get back to the line of scrimmage, if that. And with a flag on the field, and that one looks to be in the area where someone was held. So instead of giving them another third down, they'll decline it, brings up four. Now that's smart football right there. You don't even have to really spend a lot of time considering it. Just know that you're probably going to get the ball back. Good job declining that penalty. That'll be a 48-yard punt, one yard on the return. And it's Chiefs football, first and 10. Out comes Patrick Mahomes in the Chiefs offense. They've got the lead. He's a big reason why, looking sharp so far. And as we travel around the league, we see quarterbacks get it done in a variety of ways. But today's NFL does tell us one thing. If that guy doesn't play well, <laughs> their team's not going to win. And right now, he's got his team in the lead. And now they'll look to extend that lead. Completes it to Hardman. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. Now, after the completion, we're going to get a timeout, an injured player. Huh, hate to see this. Week one of the season. We'll be back. Mahomes now over 200 yards already in this first half. It's first and 10. Shotgun snap to Mahomes. Oh, there's that man again. It's complete. And he'll get up to the 43-yard line. They'll break the huddle, send three receivers left, one to the right on second and five. Again, they'll throw with Mahomes. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Geno Atkins getting him once again his third sack of the afternoon. Not wanting to risk another sack, they'll play it safe with a run. And he'll go down to the ground at the 39, and obviously that's well short of the first. So we've reached halftime here on opening weekend. As we send you down to Orlando, where Jonathan Coachman has our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, Brandon, thanks very much. And welcome back to football, everybody. We've got a full slate of 16 games here to start the new season. So let's take our first trip around the NFL. Lastly, let's check on one final game for you. And you can see they are scoreless as they play the second quarter. Meanwhile, in our game, it's been a back-and-forth first half. Who can put it together in the second half? For the answer, we turn it back over to our broadcast team of Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. This will be fielded at the eight. And nice work on the return as they'll start their drive just past the 30-yard line. Here comes the Chiefs' offensive unit as they'll have it to begin quarter number three. They have the lead. Now they'll be looking for some separation here as we begin the third quarter. I like the way you term that because now I think they go a little bit deeper into their playbook. They like what they did in the first half. That worked okay. But in order to get the separation that you just talked about, change things up a little bit change your tendencies try and hit them a little bit more with some things they didn't see in the first half we'll see if they do just that a free five yards as the defense jumps i know it's an anticipation game for them but it's also a reaction game and they reacted poorly on that one so the yellow flag came out and that leads to a new set of downs for this offense first and ten they'll keep it on the ground it's Moss. Sean Williams that time in on the stop. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. Now contact up front as penalty markers come in. Who is this against? 
So a jump there defensively. And it's a killer. Watch the football. Still second down. Don't move across the line of scrimmage until the ball moves. So after the penalty, here's second and three. Yeah, that's, what, that's what I do. Chef, chef, chef. They'll run it now out of the gun. Get there, get there, get there, get there. And he'll be brought down somewhat awkwardly here and a late flag as well. I think this one's going to be a face mask. Officials so cognizant of that call nowadays, but that one looked pretty easy. Yeah, you're right. They took out of their hands having to wonder whether it's a five yard or a 15 yard inadvertent or not. Now it's a lot easier. You see it, you call it. And now it's first and 10, a big mistake, especially when you factor in the personal foul yardage. Looking to throw is Mahomes over the middle and it's incomplete. He was looking for Tyreek Hill that time. And now it's second down. So after the incompletion, second and 10 from the 22. Only a yard on the pickup there, so it leaves him needing a conversion here on third and a tough nine. Throwing is Mahomes on third. This pass going to be caught by Hardman. And he is not going to get to the marker as they stop him short at the 14. They get seven there, but it brings up fourth. One of the money routes for any offense, the drag route. So tough to defend because the receiver can stop at any point and make himself available to the quarterback and get a completion. But I love the communication we saw there. All the defenders pointing out the receiver, where he was going, and then they're able to rally to the ball after the catch and stop him short of a first down. So he's got another field goal, his fourth now in the game. He's making it look easy out there. He certainly is, and they're always aiming for a swing of the leg that repeats under pressure, right? So nothing's different. He's got that right now because confidence is breeding confidence. Come on, fellas. So here are the Bengals now as they get their first possession of this second half. These guys had to punt last time. It has not been a very fruitful game offensively thus far. They haven't even made a trip to the red zone. And I know that everyone's going crazy on that sideline because that drives you berserk to come off the field, not really move the ball well. As you said, not even get to the red zone, let alone you know not even put points on the board. They've got to just take a deep breath, relax, try and figure out what is working, and call more of that. After the penalty, it's Mixon. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. Mike 20, Mike 20, Mike 20. I'm on, I'm on. It's a gain of eight. Brings up second and two. Once again, they run with Mixon. And forget about finding a lane. He barely had time to look up before he was planted in the backfield. But these guys are going to chop into that deficit. They have to do a much better job in the run game. Caught behind the line of scrimmage, no yardage would be found. Third down from the gun. Dalton got a man. It's Ross complete, and he'll work it across midfield inside the 45. 12 yards that time, and a Cincinnati first down. Mixon with a first down carry. And yeah, boy, this defense again really making things tough on him as they stop him for no gain. Looking to throw on second down. Dalton. Oh, he dropped it. They were looking for him in the middle third. He couldn't catch it. Now third down. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Now Dalton, throwing right, and that's complete. And he'll be brought down with a first down as the tackle's made at the Chiefs' 25-yard line. And he's going to lose yards. They take him down at the 26. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. And he went backwards. He'll be down at the 30. Chalk that up as a four-yard loss. And now it's third down. Third and 15 here after the first and second down plays 
went in the wrong direction. Here's Dalton. And Eifert has it. And he's taken down, but not before reaching the 10-yard line. A big third down pickup of 20 yards. Well, sometimes our pregame meetings do pay off, don't they? What do the guys in the locker room call him? Well, they said it with a chuckle. They called him Old Reliable. Yeah, that means he doesn't move quite as fast as he used to, but he still knows all the tricks, doesn't he? Even that little gentle push-off in order to get open. He'll be hit and taken down at the 21. Derek Wolf popping in for the sack. Well, that was point-counterpoint, wasn't it? They decided to throw for it on first and goal. Instead, the defense counters with pressure, and the defense wins, getting a big sack. So now 20 yards to go on second down after the sack. Work to be done. On the delay, it's Mixon. And he'll be taken down at the 20 after a gain of just one. Third and long. What will Dalton dial up? And he's got it complete to Anderson. And he's going to be taken down right at the line. Yeah, baby. Now they couldn't get anything going there out on the right side of the flat of the swing pass. And didn't we have a discussion with their staff about wanting to get the backs more involved in the Big passing emphasis. game? Huge emphasis for this game, but obviously the defense had other plans and really made a nice play. The kick by Carlson is good. And that lead is back down to nine now. So he missed that field goal earlier, but he says not this time. Able to knock it through, give his guys three. I like his poise. I like his confidence, his belief in himself. Sometimes when you miss that first one, you'll see a lot of guys sag and they can't make the next one. Not in this case, stepped right up like a pro. This will be taken about the 12. Solid return, pretty good field position. They'll start at the 32-yard line. Here's the Kansas City offense now as they get set to take over. And last time they got three points, but it was a chip shot field goal. And when you go to the sideline after a chip shot field goal, maybe the offense not too happy. It's a balancing act, isn't it? Because you're exactly right. They're none too pleased that they didn't punch it in for six points. But they also have to remember, they did put points on yeah, the board. Three points and, is three points. And in this league, <laughs> you take points when you can get them. Not easily done. I think it all came together there. In breaking route, drove it with excellent pace. Money throw right there to move the sticks. Throwing on first down is Mahomes. This is complete to Watkins on the slant. And brought down, but able to get it to their 30-yard line. Give him 15 yards on that one. Kansas City has a first down. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. They run the counter. Moss. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. That's a loss of a yard there, and now second down. There is no doubt that Geno Atkins is really strong and stout at the point of attack, but I love his suddenness, the ability to make plays, to be in one spot, and then he's gone. And into the offensive backfield, he's a heck of a player. And there, a big TFL tackle for loss. Hard to believe that his father, Gene Atkins, was an NFL defensive back. He's bred this big defensive tackle. Mahomes going to throw. Looking for the end zone. And it's incomplete, almost intercepted. He had a great shot of picking that off in the end zone. It brings up fourth down. That was a dangerous throw towards the end zone. Boy, did it hang up there forever. Wanted to run up there and pull it down out of the sky. Yeah, it felt like it really should have been intercepted. Lucky to have that one back. You've got to be more careful when you're that close to the goal line. Elsewhere, a third quarter score from NRG Stadium in Houston. Now you saw the score at the bottom of your screen a moment ago. We got a good one going on there. We'll keep you updated on that one as it progresses. So yet another field goal to end a drive. That has been a very common theme. He's now hit five of them in this game. Yeah, Brandon, as an offense, you hate that you've had to call on your kicker so often, but you have to love the fact that time and time again, he's come through. And he'll get it up to about the 26-yard line just across the 25. 
Now this Bengals offensive unit ready to see what they can do here. And tough to win games if you're going field goal, field goal, field goal here. They got field goal last time. Now they'll be looking for a touchdown. They're looking for the big chunk now because, as you noted, the field goal, field goal, field goal way of doing it makes it that much harder and puts more pressure on every possession for you now. Go ahead and get six and feel a lot more comfortable about the position they're in. Bigger chunks. We'll see if they can get the score. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. These guys have punted four times already, and they're staring at a fifth, barring a conversion here on third down. And they nearly get this all the way to midfield. Mark him down at the 49. A good pickup there, 21 yards. The goal for any offense versus his own defense, find the holes where guys are available and put the ball on the receiver before any defender can step up and fill it. They did it well there. Perfectly executed crossing route. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. Rodney Anderson, the intended receiver, but it'll be second down. Four down, four down. <laughs> Another look for Dalton on second and ten. And he almost intercepted it. They haven't picked a ball off yet. That probably should have been their first. And it's third down now. A draw play for Mixon. And they'll bring him down right at midfield, and he is well short of the first down. Just a one-yard pick up there, and it'll be fourth down. Well, the guys who are paid to make the tackles deserve some kudos there, but I think they deserve even bigger ones because in that situation, they had to be thinking pass. Loosened up defense, going to pass coverage. Instead, maybe they surprised him a little bit running the ball, yet they rallied to it and stopped him well short of a first down. And now here comes Kansas City. And they're not going to play this conservative, I don't think. They had the field goal last time, and they're up, but they're looking to put a drive in the end zone. Oh, I agree with you totally. No one goes out on the field and says, all right, let's just settle for three, except in certain situations, trying to ice a game, that sort of deal. Most of the time, it's end zone, and that's what you're thinking, and I believe that's exactly what they're thinking as they begin this one. Yeah, no quarterback ever goes out there saying, hey, let's get three, right? <laughs> not one that I've ever met. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Working from the gun, Mahomes. He's going to flip one out here to his running back. And he'll be brought down on what's going to turn out to be the final play of this third quarter. Back now in Cincinnati. It's the Chiefs with the lead and the football here as we get set for quarter number four. Facing a second and two after that last catch, good for eight yards. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And he stopped after a gain of one, not enough. Still a yard to go on third down. Play action, now it's Mahomes. And he's caught on the sideline, but he's not gonna have a first down. They say he was out of bounds. So a big call there, that brings up fourth. Perhaps they overthought this one a little bit. They've been running it real well on this drive, and it was third and short, okay? They decided to throw the football incomplete. Yeah, they might have thought just a little bit too hard about that play selection. Give him 11 yards that time on the return, and possession will switch hands first and 10. Cincinnati now ready to take the field. And with this deficit, you can't have too many more drives like the last drive where you had to punt it away. You know what I would tell my offense right here? The punter doesn't exist, guys. He doesn't even exist. He's not a team anymore. I just cut him, all right? So you've got to go out and create some offense for us here and give us some points. No way does that guy get on the field on this drive. Uh, poor punter. Yeah, he, it, it wasn't his fault. But so, hey, listen, there's, some, there's got to be casualties at times. We're trying to win a game. And here's a throw taken in by Boyd. Four yards on the completion, and it sets up a third down. Now they'll try to convert on third and six after the four-yard completion. Out of the gun, it's Dalton. Got a man open, it's Ross. And he takes this up to the 40-yard line before being corralled. It's a Bengal first down, a pickup of 11. Dalton, first and 10. He gets this one to Boyd. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. A Bengal first down on the 16-yard pickup there. 
All right, this is the time of the game where they're down a couple of scores, and they've really got to get some yards in chunks, and they know the defense doesn't want to give those up, but they've got to find a way to take them anyway. Now the question is, can they string a few of those together? Dalton's pass complete to Green, and he's corralled, but not before getting it inside the 35. Ten yards there and a Bengal first. A first down throw coming for Dalton. And that is incomplete. He was looking for Joe Mixon there out of the backfield. That'll bring up second down. Second and 10 from the 33-yard line. Here's Anderson. He's got it on the draw. And they'll get this one to about the 20-yard line. Now, after the running play, we've got a man down on the field. Huh, hate to see this. Week one of the season. We'll be back. 58. Six man. Check curls, check curls, check curls. Dalton operating in the red zone now. Got his man. It's Eifert. And they've got it inside the 10 at the 8. Back to back nice plays. 12 yards that time and a first down. First and goal. And they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football. Under heavy pressure and down goes Dalton on the sack. The Mississippi State man, Chris Jones, with a sack there. Well, there's still time to rectify this situation because the silver lining, they took a sack on first and goal. But that close to the goal line, that still definitely hurts. First down, a bit of a disaster, and now on second and goal, back even further. Andy Dalton. And that'll be incomplete. Didn't have a receiver open downfield, and as it turned out, couldn't even find his outlet, man, because of the coverage. It's way too tight. Unable to find anyone open. And he will take it on in for a Bengals touchdown. A 15-yard touchdown grab as his guys are back within a single score. So they get the score, partner. Game's not over, but they still need some help here. Agreed. They definitely need some help, but they took care of the first part by scoring themselves. Carlson now to add the extra point. And this is back to a five-point game. So that one a long 11-play drive. And it's finished off with a Cincinnati touchdown. A five-point game now as here comes the kickoff. This is fielded at the goal line. And the decision to bring it out, a good one, as he's up a yard or two shy of the 30. Here we go. Now the Chiefs offense, they get ready to head on the field. Certainly want to avoid what they had to do last possession, and that was punt the football, because this, this game's starting to tighten up. In a basketball sense, you think about taking a little bit of the air out of the ball, right? Maybe milk some clock, limit the possessions. In this case, they might want to do the same thing, but control the game offensively, put together some first downs, put together a drive, and keep it away from them. After the loss to start out, here's second and 11. From the gun, it's Mahomes. They complete it to Hill. And he's going to be stopped behind the line of scrimmage with a penalty flag down. This might push him back further. So this will be accepted as it moves the offense backwards. On second down, it's Moss. Give him five yards on the run there, but it'll leave him with a definite third and long on the horizon. On third and long, it's Mahomes. And it's complete to Kelsey. And they work this well upfield across the 45. A good pick up there, 26 yards. Couldn't just sit on it here, could they? Had to throw the ball on third down. Got the big completion in the pickup. Fresh set of downs now. They've got to feel great. And defensively a backbreaker. 
Just week one, but already plenty of intrigue with the games going on, and this one no different as we come up on a first and ten. And this one goes nowhere. Losing yardage on the play back at the 46. Now it appears we've got a Chief moving pretty gingerly down there. While the trainers take a look, we'll step aside. On second down now, it's Moss. And down he goes at the 49, a three-yard pickup. Throwing is Mahomes on third. It's Hill, complete. And he's got this down to the 35. Personal foul, roughing the passer, defense. Boy, tight game like this, fourth quarter, personal foul penalties, a no-no. Yeah, we know the emotions are running high, the tensions are the same. Who can control them best could ultimately win it. Mahomes firing complete, and he'll get it here to the 10-yard line. That one good for 10 yards, and that'll make it second and a foot or so. These guys are running offense like you drive. The pedal is down, stomp down. How about that? Back-to-back -back completions, they are rolling. So much for being conservative and running that football. Complete the tight end, Kelsey. And he'll be brought down here at the three-yard line. That'll put him at 96 yards receiving now for the game, and he's got a first down as well. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. They're able to get a couple here, but won't get across the plane as they stop him right around the one. A minimal gain there on the eighth play of the drive. To me, that's a terrific run on first and goal at the three. They got two yards. I'd line right back up and give it to him. And he's going to take it into the end zone for a Chiefs touchdown. Taking it in from a yard out. And the Chiefs are able to extend their lead. Well, we got a little bit of everything on that run. Offensive line creating some space. But how about the guy running behind his pads into the end zone? What does that mean when a guy says running behind his pad? It means that he's going to be a physical runner. That way he's able to use his shoulder pads, his forearms, anything to ward off people to power his way forward. Pinheiro now to add the extra point. And this one gives his guys a 12-point lead. The score, Chiefs, a good drive that time as they go nine plays in all. And it ends with a one-yard touchdown run. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. This one taken just inside the 10. And a nice job there as he gets this one up just shy of the 35-yard line at the 34. Getting ready to go again, here's Andy Dalton marching back onto the field. And after a rough start, as we take a peek at the numbers, he's going in the right direction now. So often when you see a game start the way we saw this one start for him, you just wonder if he's got a chance to bring it back at all. And that's exactly what he's done. Love seeing that happen simply because you know a guy has struggled and now he's found a way to make things better. That's pretty good stuff right there. Well, when you're leading in the fourth quarter, that's not the penalty you want. Not at all, and now your discipline comes into question. Having poise this stage of the game, you can't have those kind of plays. And now it's first and 10, a big mistake, especially when you factor in the personal foul yardage. Throwing, Dalton, he's gonna have the hook up to Ross. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. Maybe a frustration penalty there because he's picked them apart. They've tried their best to get to him and haven't done it successfully. A penalty as a result of that hit there. They'll run with Mixon. And yeah, boy, this defense again really making things tough on him as they stop him for no gain. Throwing on second down, Dalton, and he rifles one incomplete. The chance of wasting this great starting field position, a real threat. This is third and long. Now Dalton. Got a man, it's Ross, complete. And they corral him just a couple yards shy of the end zone. 
They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. Here's Dalton. That escapes the sack. And that'll be incomplete. We do have a penalty flag down, however. Let's see what that's about. So that one will be accepted. Here's another first and goal, but from a little further back this time following the penalty. Off the play fake to Mixon. This is Dalton. Open man is Ross complete. And they're going to stop him here short of the goal line with the flag down. Well, this could set up a very interesting decision. And they were looking to throw, holding on the big right tackle. That's real simple, partner. Keep your hands inside in the chest area. You're probably okay. You get it out on the shoulders, get them wide. You should gonna pick up a holding call. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. So an incomplete pass a moment ago, and that leads to second and goal. This will be Dalton again. And this time he's got the hookup. It's complete. Six yards is the pickup, and that'll lead to a third down. You got to think this is likely four down territory anyway, but they'll try to punch it in now on third and goal. He finds his running back, Mixon. And he's going to be brought down just shy of the five at the six. Ten yards gets him closer, but now it's fourth and goal. Completed pass brings up a fourth down situation. Do you play analytics on this one? Well, you know, what do your analytics tell you about going for it here? I wonder what they would say. They tell me you're down by this margin, fourth quarter. You're going. Dalton now to pass. And no, it's incomplete. They can't hook up here on the fourth down pass attempt. And the Chiefs defense comes up with a stop. So now with a little over two minutes to play, the road back gets very difficult. Difficult, but still not impossible if they go ahead and play this thing out. Now the defense has to come up big. They've got to go for a strip of the football on each and every snap to try and give themselves a chance. Big Geno Atkins here to bring him down. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So the Chiefs in possession of the ball as we welcome you back. And no doubt what they're looking to do is just salt away the final couple of minutes and escape with a win. And they'll get him down up past the 15. And quickly, we're going to get another stop here with 1.54 left as they call the timeout defensively. And not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and 10. Let's get off the field. They'll keep it on the ground. Moss. And now we're going to get a timeout defensively. So another stop. 150 left in the football game. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. Two times, two times. Hey, four down. And to give this time to the tailback. Now the Bengals going to signal for their third and final timeout as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. On third down, it's Moss. And he will lose yardage here back at the 23-yard line. Losing two yards that time, and now it's fourth down. Anytime you call an inside running play, you just know there should be a lot of congestion there. You're counting on your offensive line to take control of the line of scrimmage. That didn't happen in this case, and that play got bottled up. 12 yards on the return that time, and that will come the offense as they take over. Dalton and the offense now. Down by 12. A little over a minute to go. Field goals, useless at this point. They need two touchdowns, and they need them in short order. He gets this in the hands of Mixon. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. Passing. It's Dalton. I know most of the time when the ball's in the air, you're thinking wide receiver, tight end, but running backs, they can be a big part of any passing offense nowadays. So second down, still 10 yards to go. Ball on the 43. To throw again, Dalton. He's got the first down here inside the 30. And finally taken down at the 15. And he'll be brought down with a first down as the tackle's made at the Chiefs' 15-yard line. 
He'll find his running back, Joe Mixon. And he'll get nothing out of that one. Had the completed pass, but for no gain, stopped right at the line, so it's second and 10. So this one in the win column for Kansas City. And with that, our journey begins, Charles. Week one in the books, going to be a great season. Oh, man, so much to look forward to. Isn't it nice to get a really good game right out of the gate? Preseason behind us. All these games count now, don't they? Yeah, this is the exciting time with just one week gone and plenty of weeks to come. So for the Chiefs, not much to complain about here. They come in and steal a victory in a tough place to play on a Sunday night. And they'll get another road test next week as they head to New England to take on the Patriots. Meanwhile, for the Bengals, they go down to defeat here in the opener. And they'll try to get back to their winning ways next week as they head to Lambeau to take on the Packers. So for our entire crew, alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. Thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you next time.